You know, there are a lot of perks working here at Runner Space Live besides the thousands of dollars they pay us. <laughs> they don't. But we do get fan mail. It reads, Dear Mr. Matt, I think your show is super swell. I sent you my favorite stuffed animal, Spanky. He's the most loving monkey in the world. Signed, Little Annie Springer. Oh, I mean, that's just the kind of stuff that touches your heart. You know what, Annie? Spanky, he's going to be our new mascot here at Runner Space Live. You're watching it. Spanky around here anywhere? He is just a little curious monkey. Can't find him. Here's the video for under the desk for Spanky. Runner space rundown. All right, enough monkeying around. It's the high school rundown. Cass Loxum. Hey. That sounds like a name Sean Connery would be really good at saying. Cash Loxum. Cash Loxum. I'll take anal bum cover for 200. All right, that probably made no sense to anybody, but for those of you who understood, I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, Cass Loxum plays the 118 600 to put him number four all time. Not too shabby, Mr. Loxum. That was at the New England Championships, also at the same championships. The Newton South Girls. Ready US number one, 9044 by 800 meter relay to put them number seven all time. Oh yeah, in the two mile. Andrew, not Jerry Springer, ran a U.S. number one, 902. At the New York State Championships, Kylie Plant set a U.S. freshman class record, running 38.53 in the 300. How is she so fast? And more importantly, why are there freshman girls who are faster than I am? At that same meet, Emily Lapari blazed a U.S. number one, 432.1500. Also at that meet, Melissa Kisdorfer threw a U.S. number two New York State meet record, 48 feet, two and a half inches. In the shot put. On the guy's side, Alex Hat smoked a 227,000 to win it. In Oklahoma, Jack Wick killed it. Jumping 17.10 and three quarters. Quarters in the pole vault, which is the U.S. number one mark for this year and number seven all time. And last but not least, Elijah Greer, who ran 147 last year in the 800 as a junior, opened up a season with a 152 in the 800, beating out former Oregon high school record holder and University of Oregon standout Michael McGrath. Who actually last, last but not least, a 15-year-old from Jamaica ran 10.42 in the 100-meter dash. Dear goodness, that must be a manly 15-year-old. It's the College Pro Rundown. He did it. He finally did it. Galen ran sub four in the mile. He ran 357.86, just beating out Austin. Abbott of Washington and Gabe Jennings of the Oregon Track Club. Caitlin's mile run was a U of O indoor record, and after the race, he went to the Huskies outdoor track and did three by mile in 430, 427, and 417. The guy is fit. You can watch Galen's entire race right here at runnerspace.com. Other notable collegiate action, Ryan Vale at the Arkansas Last Chance Meet cranked off a 7.52 3K. At the Alex Wilson Invitational, 15 teams in the NCAA automatic qualifying mark of 9.34, led by Virginia, ran 9.29. At the World Athletics Tour in Melbourne, Stephen Hooker put on a show. Show. Jumping just over 19 feet to win the pole vault wall, Safa Pal ran 10, 2, 3 in the 100. In cold and windy conditions. Crazy action going on in Europe is Mo Farah set a European indoor record. 740 in the 3K. Grand Champions ran 642 in the 60 meter dash, just three hundredths of a second off Marie Screen's world record. Both those athletes were from the UK. Go Britain! In the women's 800, Maria Savanova ran a world leading 158. While the men's Yuri Borzakovsky ran a 25 second last 200 to win in 148. In the long jump, Germany, Sebastian Bayer jumped an unreal 28, 6 and 3. Quarters. The second longest indoor leap of all time. And last but not least, elsewhere in the world, an 18 year old phenom from Australia, Ryan Gregson, ran a 356.5K. Just a little prior, we should note that he ran a 337.1500. So keep an eye out for him at the World Junior Cross Country Championships on March 28th. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's the Road Racing Rundown. Bad news bears, everybody. Paul Radcliffe will not run the London Marathon because she broke her toe. Ooh. The cause of the broken toe was a bunion that put pressure on the toe. Bunion. I always thought of onions like a mix between a foot and an onion when someone said they had a bunion, but apparently this is what one looks like. And yeah. Get well soon, Paula. We like watching you run quickly. At the Lago Maggiore Half Marathon in Italy, Ezekiel Jafari Nagimba of Tanzania, I believe, ran 60 minutes, 41 seconds, which was a personal best and course record. At the Nagoya International Ladies Marathon in Japan this last Sunday, Yoshiku Fujinaga won at a time of 228.13. And because she ran so fast, she was automatically selected for Japan's World Championship. 
Chip Marathon team. And last but not least, on a random note, meet marathoner Jim Simpson, who's 67 years old, goes from marathon to marathon in his camper trailer and sleeps in Walmart parking lot. He's done a marathon in all 50 states eight times. That's hardcore. And that's the rundown. Oh, Spanky, I found you, you silly guy. Oh, you. Hey, uh, so we got to sign out the show. Um, Spanky, what, what, what is he doing? Is that, is that, there's nothing about this similar. Any, is this, I don't think. Spanky, that's, that's really, that's my, uh, favorite trophy. You should be careful. Uh, Ha <laughs> ha!